Here's another uh, short algebra one for the insert. So again, it's a higher level uh, type question. So simplify this stuff out here. Can you make this look any simpler? So look, there are loads of ways to do this, but I look at it straight away and I think, well, from my experience with leaving their questions, maybe what way will we attack this? The first thing I see here is this x to the half. So x to the half is actually the square root of x. So you should know that at this stage. x to the minus a half is the same as 1 over x to the positive half because of the rules of indices. We bring it down, we can change the sign. Equally, we could bring this up and it changes the sign. So these two things are equivalent statements. So therefore, I can actually rewrite this and it might make it a bit easier for you to look at from what you're used to seeing. So let's say if we do this, let's say if we say this is equal to x to the 3 over 2 minus, now x to the minus a half. If I say that's 1 over the square root of x because it's 1 over x to the power of positive a half. And now on the bottom, x to the half, well that's square root of x. And now minus, again, it's 1 over square root of x. Now, I didn't need to do that. I could have just dealt with x to the half. But I'm just trying to make this in a format that you're used to seeing. I think now for some people, if they see this, they say, oh, OK, I just want to get rid of this denominator here. Let's multiply everything by square root of x. Yep, that's great. So we'll do that. And that gets rid of our fractions here. Now, equally, you could have just multiplied everything by x to the half up here. But look, it doesn't matter, right? This is just an easy way to see to see it a bit better, I think. So let's multiply everything by square root of x. So when we do that, we'll get rid of these denominators here. So that's x to the half, say, times x to the 3 over 2. When we multiply this thing by square root of x, it's going to be root x over root x, just leaves us with 1. And then to the bottom, well, what's root x by root x? That's just going to be x because it's like square root of x squared. And again, multiply this by root x, that ends up being 1 also. OK, almost there. So what's next? Well, x to the half times x to the 3 over 2. From rules of indices, what would we do with these two powers? Do we add or multiply them? So these are the same base, so we can actually add them. If it was a power to a power, that's the only condition where you multiply. That's something you have to get used to noticing or recognising. So x to the power of a half times x to the power of 3 over 2. We actually add these powers. This is 1 and a half, this is a half. That ends up being x to the power of 2 minus 1 over x minus 1. Now, while it already now looks a bit simpler than the very start, we're still not finished. A glaring thing for you in the leaving cert, and you have to always recognise this, is they love throwing in the difference of two squares, which is what we have in the top. So this actually is x plus 1 and x minus 1 all over the x minus 1. And of course, these are multiplying these two factors, which means this will cancel. And we're just left with a nice and neat x plus 1. So yeah, it turns out that all this messy stuff up here actually simplifies down to a nice simple x plus 1. So hopefully that made sense.